Hello my darlings, happy new year to you. If you're stopping by for the first time, my name is Jenny Mayahaya. Please do well to hit the subscribe button. I haven't done a sit down video and I have a lot to talk about. Tell me if you like my new background. I think this was part of the reason why I was off for a very long time. I was trying to put a better space for you all so we could just go on this 2024 journey better and bigger. You get the drill. About my previous video, first of all, I just want to thank you guys for all the love, all the support because my numbers are going up. It feels like this year is for me and YouTube. I know you want to know if I met my husband on this journey, but I think I'll talk about that at the end of the video. You know, at the beginning of this year, I came to talk about things I really wanted to achieve, things I really wanted to do for 2023. I was hyped, I was pumped. I came here, I wrote down a list and I came to talk to you guys about it. Before the year ran out, I was regretting that list I made though, because it felt like that was the beginning of my problems. Last year just turned my life around and I, I'll give you guys the gist, so don't worry, I'm here for the gist, okay? Let's get very comfortable because I'm just here to gist you. So, 2023 started, I came here, we spoke about a lot of things we wanted to achieve. I remember that time, I just told myself that I wasn't going to put any pressure on myself as to getting a job, as to trying to figure out life and all of that, but it's like 2023 said, hold my cup sit back relax and let me show you what i'm made of because it was a lot i think in february i was just going through tiktok and i stumbled on this page where this girl was talking about how she really wanted to elevate her life you know when you see something online and it feels like they are talking to you directly that was how that video was so in my head this girl was talking about healing and at that point it just felt like that was what i needed i just needed to take a time off like that was what my body my soul needed so i was like okay she said she wanted to go on a six month challenge where she takes care of herself she teaches herself how to love herself better spend time with herself and i'm like hmm, that sounds like a very good thing and that was where i had to make my biggest decision of 2023 which was starting my business and the honest truth is it might look like oh i had everything figured out or i know what i'm doing i don't know what thing i did do it's like you're moving and you get to one step and it feels like you need to make a decision to move to the next step that was just it that was 2023 for me so i think when i started that journey it got to a point where it's like i was trying to invest into myself and i'm like oh i could learn a skill that was how it came up at that time the only thing that made so much sense no not even sense the only business that felt like i could cash out from in a very short period of time was a lash extension because the market is still very very juicy so i'm like yes i could do lash extension but i did not want to do only lash extension that was where makeup came into the game but what nobody can ever get you prepared for you need money to learn a skill that is not it though that is not the business you now need money to invest into this skill that you have learned nobody told me that I literally used the last of my savings at that point because that was like it just made so much sense like use your savings to learn something then when you learn something it, it could be profitable to you in the long run i used my last money like my last savings to learn my skill that was when i was very very humbled <laughs> when i got to that point i was humbled because after i learned my skill it's like okay you're out of that phase you need a space or you need to be actively working to make money and for a skill that i learned like makeup and lash those are skills that you need to practice over time so it's like you learn for one month that's not all though. learning learning continues yeah that's the word the next thing on my head was get a space get a space get a space and at some point it felt like since i could not meet up to getting a space i was doing something wrong it felt like i'd made a very big mistake i was just doubting the whole process basically started working on my space if you watch my birthday vlog you will hear when i said there were like so many sad days and it felt like joy came again and that was this space this is the space i'm filming from right now i invested my heart into my space i made sure that every angle was picturable 
every part was functional so when i had the opportunity to put into this space i literally poured the whole of my heart into my space i knew what i wanted i didn't even want to settle when i was stepping into this year one thing i knew that was satisfying for me was the fact that 2023 felt like i had laid the foundation for what i should water or what i should invest into in 2024 so the difference was at the beginning of 2023 i had no clue but right now it feels like i have something to work with i have something to invest my time my energy my money into i have no resolutions this year i have a vision board instead you could use your phone and you could create your vision board on your phone that's very easy i could give you a tutorial or drop a comment and i will drop a tutorial for you my biggest prayer for 2024 is that i really just want everything to come with ease to me i felt like i'd already put in the work in 2023 i've put in all the tears all the sweats i've invested literally so i think i am ready to flourish how did your 2023 go did you set goals for yourself at the beginning of the year and were you able to meet those goals or did you just flow with the year and how did the year just turn out in general please drop a comment one thing i want us to be very intentional about this year moving on forward yes let's talk about moving forward now what i want from you my lovely subscribers my lovely family is for you to engage in my post i want you guys to drop a comment i want you guys i want to read your comments i want to reply your comments i want it to be very interactive this year this year i just don't want the views i also i'm also looking out for the comments so please drop comments on my videos communicate with me let us have an interactive section watch my videos till the end because we're trying to get monetized so the thing is i don't think you all know this but by the time i put a 10 minutes video and you do not watch my videos for 10 minutes it shows so maybe you come you click for two minutes only two minutes is added to my time that's the watch hour and that is there is a time i'm meant to meet up to so if i don't meet up to that time i'm not monetized so please just watch my videos till the end even if i'm rambling support me just leave it playing and go about your day it will definitely definitely mean a lot to me in this new year i know i said it last year but this year i want to travel i still want to travel traveling is still on my list but I don't know we'll see how that goes in january alone i have been to three states in nigeria so i think that's positive when it comes to traveling even if i can't make it to travel like outside country i want to intentionally travel within the country enjoy experience different culture and just see life from another point of view back to the gist back to the gist that brought you to this channel i want to talk about my journey and my experience this is also my first experience and i want to share some things with you moving forward when you want to travel to the east like airlines i noticed that there were some airlines that were way 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 way, way cheaper than others and i don't think everybody has the time to go through these airlines me i did i literally put out a list of airlines that traveled to the east then i went i checked one after the other and i think the two cheapest flights i saw were united nigeria and ibom air their prices were very very fair if you book on time i traveled with ibom air it was smooth i don't know about others but that was like the first time i traveled with them there was no delay everything was on point snacks and goodies on the flight i i have a problem i have a problem i have a problem thank god i'm doing this video now because i have somewhere to talk about it i really wanted to talk about this ibom air if you're watching this i want to tell you the only problem i had with flying with you for the first time and that is your seat belt i have never experienced having to ask for extra belt on an aircraft but i had to on this aircraft i'm like i know i'm big i'm seriously adjusting i'm like is there some extra something there that i don't know about or what and the good thing is i was the only person seated on the bowl i know i'm a big girl but you guys need to do better i shouldn't be asking for like extra belts on your on the aircraft doesn't make any sense okay life is different life is different over there 
the way we see things here or in the north me i grew up in the north i've lived in the north all my life and there are certain traditions rules culture that have been set out that needs to be followed and needs to be followed accordingly it's not like that too in the east the, the life there is different like the way the manner the patterns the culture everything is different you guys it blew my mind it's like am i even still in nigeria at this end it feels like there is a rule or there, there's something set aside for you to follow and if you're not following it in that pattern you're doing something wrong and in another part of this same country people do not even care about these rules and all these cultural traits and love was massive like you guys i was in that space for four days everybody was looking out for me i was getting treated nicely from everybody like i never lacked like i went i remember when i was going to that place i was like hey i need so much money i don't know anybody in this place i don't know how to go about this thing but when i got there i can swear down that i didn't even i didn't i didn't spend let me just put it that way everything was taken care of everybody was nice everybody was welcoming everybody treated me nice i felt at home i didn't even want to leave at some point because I, I booked my flight for a monday and the flight on Tuesday was cheaper, but I'm like, what will I even be doing till Tuesday? When I went on that trip, I'm like, why didn't I just book that Tuesday trip, which was going to be cheaper and it's going to give me more time to spend with these people. Like, it paid me so well, but it was a very, very beautiful experience. One thing I didn't get to experience were the food. I, I didn't eat, like, proper native food because I was just eating from the hotel I was in. So it's mostly rice, yam and all of that talking about the whole husband just that i know you came here for i met beautiful people i made beautiful relationships friendship moving forward anything could happen all i could say from that trip is that i met beautiful people i met good people but if there's anything progressive i'll definitely come back here to just you guys okay because we are on this together i just want to wish you guys the best of 2024 i want to wish you the best if there is anything you really want your heart desires i pray that god almighty is going to meet you at that point of your needs okay thank you guys for coming with me please subscribe if you haven't hit the subscribe button join this family and i'll see you in my next one bye